Chronicles 28.9. Acknowledge the God of your Father and serve Him with wholehearted devotion and with a willing mind. For the Lord searches every heart and understands every motive behind your thoughts. Hosea 6.3. Let us acknowledge the Lord. Let us press on to acknowledge Him. As surely as the sun rises, He will appear. He will come to us like the winter rains, like the spring rains that water the earth. Welcome back to Fox News, your leading source for the facts and logic to combat those sensitive snowflakes. Tonight, we bring you an exclusive interview courtesy of Janine Joy Hertz, our Christian consultant. Hello, everyone. May peace be with you. As you all know, I am Janine Joy Hertz, and I have made it my life's duty to bring your millennial teens back out into the arms of Christ. Today's interview subject will be a little different, however. Not only does this woman identify as an atheist, but her parents chose to raise her without religion. Shocking, I know. I myself am surprised she hasn't ended up as a pregnant transgender on welfare. But then again, she has only just turned 20. Perhaps it isn't too late to sway her back to Jesus. Would you like to meet her? Julia Gay, known online under the pseudonym Flower Gothic, is a college junior and amateur filmmaker. A couple months ago on a YouTube video, she admitted to being an atheist. I am an agnostic atheist who was raised without religion, aside from the occasional Bible story from my super Catholic grandmother. She went on to further state that she had only been to church a few times in her life and that she doesn't have any faith in her life. To prevent her from being damned into hell, I sat down with her recently. So, I know you're gonna get triggered if I don't ask for your pronouns, so... Actually, I'm alright without that question. I still use female pronouns. Mm hmm So, tell me, why did your parents choose to raise you without God? Well, even though both of my parents were raised Christian, they weren't that religious by the time my mom got pregnant with me. They thought it was for the best that I find my own path to spirituality without- So they left you in the cold? Able to be influenced by godless heathens? No, not at all. They wanted me to establish my own relationship with spirituality. So tell me, were your parents raised godless? Uh, yes. My mom went to a Methodist church growing up, though her parents were more so cultural Christians. My dad, on the other hand, went to Catholic church all throughout his- Catholic, you say? No wonder your father wanted you raised without religion. If you're referring to the sexual abuse, it had nothing to do with that. I wasn't implying that, Miss Gay. I was just saying that. You literally said, no wonder your father wanted you raised without religion when I mentioned he was Catholic. So you were born in New Orleans. If you and your family stayed there, you would have gone to an Episcopal school? Yes, but you must take into account that we lived in Louisiana, one of the worst educated states in the country. Public schools were absolute shitholes there. But you and your parents didn't attend the church. Correct. But you didn't end up going to that school. You and your family moved to Houston after Hurricane Katrina and- Let me stop you right there. We did not leave New Orleans because of Katrina. In fact, we left over half a year before Katrina. But my records said you left in 2005. January of 2005, not August. Did your family have a hippie feeling that Katrina was coming? What the fuck are you talking about? I see. So you went to public school all throughout your childhood. Didn't your mom want you to go to a Catholic high school? She wanted me to at least consider it. We had more money by then and she thought going to the school would be an- But didn't your brother go to a Christian preschool? Yes, but out of convenience. It was the closest all-day school in the area we could afford, and... And does your brother identify as a Christian? He identifies as an agnostic. But he went to a Christian school. Out of necessity! It's not our 
fault that our country has a shitty child care system that benefits upper class people and- Are you trying to change the topic on me, Miss Gay? No, I was just saying that he went there out of necessity. It sounded like you were about to go on a political tangent. Maybe. Describe the first time you went to church, Miss Gay. I think I was in the third grade then. Me and a couple other girls were having a sleepover at one of our classmates' houses. We'll call her Beatrice. One Sunday morning, we woke up to Beatrice's mother telling us it's time to go to church. Now, as someone who never went to church, I only had a casual change of clothes. So in my purple tank top and floral skirt, we piled into our mom's car and drove to Beatrice's grandfather's house. That was where the church was. It was his house. I don't remember what the sermon was, but I do remember playing with little people while there. Did you ever feel like you had something missing in your life, faith-wise? You didn't even let me finish my story. But no, I have never felt anything missing from me. But you did go to a Christian camp for three years, correct? Yes, I went to a Christian camp, but let me explain why. I kept hearing about this cool all-girls camp from a girl I went to elementary and middle school with, and I signed up for three summers. It appropriated Native American culture and had a shit ton of white Texas Jesus. So the camp was pagan? No! Why would you assume that? You said it had Native American culture. It was about as res- fuck. It was about as respectful to Native Americans as Pocahontas. Moving on, didn't your parents take you and your brother to church? Yes, for a couple weeks. My parents said it was because they felt bad they didn't give my brother and I a chance to truly explore religion. So they did want to raise you with God. They just felt bad, damn it! Long story short, neither my brother nor I were invested enough in the church to justify going, nor did my parents really connect with that church. Because they were godless. They were not godless. Does your brother feel lost without faith, though? Oh, he worships RuPaul and the disciples of his drag race. I see. Do you and your family think he's a ho- I know what he is, but he doesn't want the rest of the family to know yet. It's his choice. How did your family react when you came out as irreligious? You're making it sound like a bigger deal than it actually was. I told my dad I was agnostic. I came to my own conclusion. What made you choose to become an atheist? You mean identify as one? Well, I'd say I got inspired by a blog called The Coquette. The writer herself is an atheist. So another godless heathen? Will you let me tell my story? She discussed a kind of afterlife that felt comforting. When the blood stops flowing to your skull, your consciousness will simply cease to exist. Don't worry, you won't feel a thing. Seriously though, stop being so afraid of it. Let go of your fear. Not to belittle the impending abyss, but it's really no big deal. The vast sea of nothingness after your death is no different from the vast sea of nothingness before your birth. And yet you're not the least bit terrified of what happens before you are born. Why then are you so terrified of what happens after you die? And frankly, I stopped fearing the void a long time ago. We're all going to be dust in the wind eventually, so we have to make our moments of living count. That's why I choose to spend it pursuing a career I'd actually be happy with instead of trying to monetize my happiness. I guess having vague memories of the pre-birth void helps with my acceptance of it. But there is an afterlife, Miss Gay. So what? I don't mind partying up in hell with Satan. When you get married, it'll be a secular ceremony, yes. Hell, I might even elope if I feel like it. And when you have kids, you're not gonna raise- Who says I'm having kids? But you're missing out, Miss Gay. You're missing out on living a fulfilled life. I can't believe you don't feel empty inside after being raised without any semblance of God. Listen, Janine Joy, I may have been raised without a specific religion, but my parents instilled morals into me. You know, your usual don't lie and don't steal stuff. And I consider my childhood to have been pretty damn normal regardless of what people say. If anything, I grew up more accepting knowing that there are different paths to faith one can take and the choice to take none of them. I chose to take none of them. And I feel the most fulfilled as a person I could be. Have you ever thought that there are multiple ways to live your own life? So, you're admitting to being anti-Christian? No! I don't care what you believe for the most part. I just don't want people trying to enforce their religion onto me. I wish to remain faith-free, thank you very much. And if I go to hell, I'm gonna party hard with Satan. I'm 500 kinds of sin, baby! <gasps> ah! Okay.
okay. If you're just gonna be rude, get the fuck out of my house. I, I was just trying to purify you. Get out! So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Flower Gothic, a proud atheist, refuses to return to the arms of Jesus Christ and is excited for her damnation to hell. This is a person millennials look up to, so be very afraid. Once again, I am Janine Joy Hertz, and this was an exclusive interview. Good night.